guys, what's up? I'm Chantel, and welcome to day 10 of Vlogmas. We're already in the double digits. We're getting there. We're about 15 days away from Christmas. Um, anyways, um, for today's video, I am going to be sharing with you guys my top 10 favorite Christmas movies. We've got a list here in my notebook, and yeah, let's be sharing with you guys some of my favorite Christmas movies. Let's just get into the video. Okay, so I love Christmas movies. Like, I have been watching Christmas movies since like the middle of November. Like, as soon as it started to come on like Netflix and Disney Plus, I was like, okay, Christmas movies all day, every day. Okay, maybe not all day, but at least like one a day. Um, I just have, I literally just, just finished watching two Christmas movies tonight. So, yeah. Anyways, um, so I think I'm going to do this like top 10s will be like 10 being my least favorite to um, 1 being my most favorite. So we're going to start with number 10. So number 10 is A Cinderella Story Christmas Wish. This just came out last year. It has Laura Murano and Greg Salkin in it. So two like you know Disney icons. Love them. And the, the movie is so cute. It's basically like a retelling of of the classic Cinderella story, um, you've got this, uh, my god, I can't talk, you've got this girl named Kate, who's basically like the Cinderella, I think her name is Kate, I can't remember her name, Kat, maybe, I'm not sure, anyways, that, she's like the Cinderella of the story, and she lives with her, obviously her stepmom and her two, two stepsisters, who are like, you know, rich and super, like, superficial, and kind of dumb, so, yeah. Anyways, um, she has a job working as an elf at this, like, Santa toy, like, not toys, this, like, like Santa village at the, at the mall, I think, and she ends up falling in love with the guy who's playing Santa, which is the guy played by Greg Salkin, and I am forgetting his name as well. Um, but yeah, but she, of course he doesn't know that it's her, because he only ever sees her in her, like, elf costume, and yeah, it's just super cute, um, yeah, I love it. <laughs> uh, what else was I gonna say about it? So yeah, it's basically just like this, this, like the classic Cinderella story, but told at Christmas time. And yeah, it's on Netflix, so you can definitely go check it out. There's there's a really good soundtrack that goes with it with it as well. There was a song I think that Laura either wrote or like sang. Uh, and it that came out last year when the movie came out, and I listened to it a lot last year. I haven't listened to it yet this year, but I have watched the movie. Um, yeah. Anyways, great movie. Next. Is The night before Christmas, as in like night, as in like you know, like a night in shining armor kind of thing. Um, this has Vanessa Hutchins in it, and I forget who plays the guy, but it's just a really cute um, movie about uh, basically this guy. He's a knight in like medieval times, and he somehow like ends up in the present day, and, where he meets this girl played by Vanessa Hutchins. Um, I don't remember her name. I should have done my research before this. I like watched them, but whatever, you know, most of the act actors you probably know, um, anyway, so yeah, she falls in love with Vanessa Hutchins' character, um, and she's all, like, kind of weirded out, like, you know, why are you acting so strange, like, why don't you know about, like, modern technology, and modern this and that, and he's like, I'm, I'm not, it's not from this time, and she doesn't believe him, she thinks he's, like, on drugs or something, um, which is, you know, pretty, probably what, you know, most people would think, uh, if they meet someone, who claims they have uh, traveled or time travel from from medieval times into 2020? Um, yeah, anyways, this came out last year actually, um, and yeah, again another super cute movie. Um, it's on Netflix. Definitely go watch it if you haven't already. I love it. I already watched it this year again. So yeah, number eight now. Is Dash and Lily? This is actually a show, like a series on Netflix, and this just came out this year. Uh, it's super cute. If you haven't um, seen it or read the books, it's actually based on a book series called Dash and Lily. The first book is called Dash and Lily's Book of Dares, which is what the first season of the show was about. And it just looks like a first season too, which is great. Um, but yeah, basically it's about this guy, or no, sorry, this girl who leaves a notebook um, in a bookstore in New York City, and 
this guy who's like super like cynical and doesn't like Christmas and whatever, he ends up finding it. And like girl's the complete opposite of him. She loves Christmas. She's super like festive, super like into all that. Um anyways she she finds the notebook and they basically exchange notes back and forth through this notebook. Um and then they eventually meet. Um I don't wanna like spoil anything but you know, there's a lot going on in like each of their individual lives. It's just a, like a super cute story. Definitely go check it out. Um, yeah, super sweet, super cute. Um, love it. Um, okay, the next one, number seven. Is Let It Snow, uh, which is based on the book by John Green. I used to love John Green, I still do honestly, like he's one of my favorite authors. Um, and this one came, I think it was John Green and another author actually that wrote this book. Anyways, they made a, a movie um, based on the book, came out last year, and again, a super cute, cute movie. Um, basically from what I can remember, it's kind of complicated to explain, but all of these kids, um, they all got like different things going on, there's this one guy who's like, He's like in love with his best friend, but she doesn't know it. And then there's like another guy who um, like wants to be like these cheerleaders. And then there's like just a lot of like romance going on between all of the characters. It's really hard to keep straight. Um, but basically, all of these characters' lives intertwine, and they all end up meeting at this Waffle House um, in their hometown on Christmas Eve, and they get snowed in. Um, but yeah, that's basically the gist of the story. I don't want to give too much away, and like I said, it's kind of complicated to explain. If you haven't watched it already or read the book, definitely go do both, read the book and watch the movie. Um, again, you can watch that on Netflix. Okay, the next one is a classic. It's A Christmas Carol. Um, this, do I have to explain what this movie's about, you know? Guy Scrooge gets visited by ghosts of Christmas past, present, and future, um, and he, you know there's the true meaning of Christmas and everything. There's obviously been so many versions of this done. There's like the one that came out on Disney a few years ago um, with I think Jim Carrey in it, and then there's the one, the Muppets Christmas Carol. There's like a uh, most of them like like goof like Goofy and like all like the like those like Disney characters, um, and obviously like many many other versions and I love the story I remember when I was a kid the ghost of the future always like scared me so bad I just had nightmares about it but again a classic movie definitely watch it one that I watch every year I haven't watched it yet this year but I will definitely check it out it's not my favorite Christmas movie but it is definitely in the top 10 the next movie is uh, Christmas Chronicles. The first movie, in, it's, a, it's a series, there's two movies. The first one came out in 2018 and I absolutely loved it. I watched it at this like uh, after school club thing that I, that I went to and it's such a cute movie. Basically there's these two kids, well one's like a teenager and one's like, I think like 10 years old. Uh, so they're Kate and I forget her older brother's name. Um, and they, and basically Kate's like huge, like you know, Santa believer, but they're like, no, Santa doesn't exist. And so they set up a plan to try and catch Santa, um, and they end up catching him and actually end, end up in his sleigh and going all over the world with him. And they get into like a bunch of different situations, and they like learn like the magic of Christmas, and um, yeah, and uh, they think that they 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 kind of get in trouble because the cops think that they stole this car, um, which. It's just, it's, it's kind of complicated, but there's music in it. It's, it's just, I can't explain it. It's just, a, again, a super cute movie. It's a great family one if you want to watch, like, a Christmas movie with your family. Um, so, yeah, definitely check that out. Then there's, so after that, there's the second one, which just came out, like, a few weeks ago. And, uh, it's just called Christmas Chronicles 2. And basically in this one, the main girl, um, Kate, uh, she and her family are on a like vacation for Christmas in like Mexico or something and she's there and her mother's there with her new boyfriend because her dad actually passed away that's part of the first movie um that I forgot to mention but she doesn't like the, the the guy that her mom's with she's like you know I wish it was dad I wish we were home for Christmas why are we like you know in like a super hot place I want to be like 
home, you know, doing more traditional Christmas things. Um, then her and I guess it would be like her, his, her mom's boyfriend's son. Um, they go to find something and they end up meeting this guy who is actually um, bad. He's like he used to be a be an elf and then he got like kicked out of like the like Santa's village and whatever and he like trying to like get revenge on Santa and everything. So they end up in the North Pole and they're trying to like defeat this bad guy who's trying to like basically take away Christmas. Um yeah, again, super cute movie. Definitely watch it with your family or like with your friends or on your own or whatever. I watched it on my own when I was in, in quarantine in my room for a week because I thought I had COVID and I had to wait till I got my, my results back to uh be able to be around my roommates and stuff. But yeah super cute definitely watch it definitely worth worth the watch um the next one is again another classic home alone all the movies obviously the first two are the best but like you know there's been like other ones with different actors that's not after that and if you don't know the story of home alone do do you know christmas movies like <laughs> You know, guy, the little boys left home alone. Burglars come in, try, or try to come in and uh, like rob their house. He goes and does all the does like crazy stuff to keep them from robbing the house. And like, you know, comedy, super funny, just a classic Christmas movie. Like everyone knows Home Alone. Um, I think this is on Disney Plus, so you can definitely check it out there, or get it on like DVD or whatever. It might also be on like Amazon Prime. So yeah. Just Definitely one that I've watched. I've actually watched it several times this year because my roommate is obsessed with it. So we've watched strictly the first two movies at least five times in the past month. Number three is of course Elf. Another classic. Uh, uh, a very tall elf in Santa's village finds out he uh, is not actually an elf and goes try to New York City to meet his father, who is like, what the heck, and then like has like, wants like nothing to do with him, and you know, obviously it's very funny. I haven't watched it yet this year because I haven't been able to find a place to watch it, but, but you have to like, where you, where you don't have to like pay for it, um, but yeah, super funny movie, great to like watch like with your friends or family. Yeah. Next is Jack Frost. This is one that is not talked about a lot, but I absolutely love this movie. It's number two on my list for a reason. Um, excuse me. This came out, I think, in, like, the mid-90s. It's basically about this little boy named Charlie, um, excuse me, who, um, his father dies in a car accident. His father's, like, a musician, and his name is Jack Frost. And anyways, he ends up dying in this car accident, and then a year later, um, or after he, or before he dies, they, make, they build a snowman together. And then a year later, Charlie builds the same snowman with like with his father's hat and scarf and everything, and the snowman comes to life. And it's, it's his father. And so he just kind of like tries to deal, deal with like these bullies at school, and he's also dealing with like the fact that his father is now a snowman. Um, and as funny as it sounds, it's actually a very like heartwarming, sad story, but again, Super cute, super sweet. I watch it every year with my family, or almost every year. It's one of our favorites to watch together. Um, yeah, definitely. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. I'm not sure where you can where you can watch it. I found it on Soap Today, um, but you can probably find it on some other streaming service. Maybe um, I'm in Canada, so a lot of things that are available in the U.S. are not available here. Um, but yeah, love that movie. And then number one is, of course, my absolute favorite Christmas movie in the world, The Grinch. I have been obsessed with The Grinch since I was, like, a little kid. I think the live-action movie came out when I was, when, like, what was it, 2000? So I was, like, three, maybe? Yeah, three. And I remember, like, I used to watch it all year long. Um, it's obviously the original Christian version, which I also absolutely love from, like, from like the 1960s and then there's the live action one which is probably my favorite i've already watched it this year it's on amazon prime just the 
like a classic Christmas movie. I am obsessed with it. I have so many Grinch related like ornaments and stuff like that. Obviously, anything that I had is all packed up right now. Um, but yeah, there's also like the new animated version that came out I think, in 2018, which is still like pretty good. Like it's okay, kind of got it. Kind of like delves deeper into like the Grinch's past and stuff. Um, but it's probably just not as good as the original. So yeah. Anyways, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys, I hope you guys enjoy. You got some holiday movie inspiration. Um, and yeah, let me know in the comments what your favorite Christmas movie is. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.